Local child advocates hope tonight that more people will consider becoming a foster parent. Yeah, the need is great right now as many parents who had time before now face financial hardships. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey is joining us now with more. Nina and Phil, Bethany Christian Services says foster parents who already had children placed with them have been able to adapt, but there's been a drop in people signing up to become future foster parents. And once the lives, there could be an influx of children needing homes. Ten children may seem like a lot, but coming from a big family herself, that was Crystal Pippen's dream. But that dream shifted. I have um, two children of my very own, a boy and a girl. My little boy's deceased. Um, and um, it's been so rewarding just to give back. She still feels the loss, but motherhood has shown her she has a lot more love and compassion to give. She's a foster parent and she's caring for one of Indiana's 13,000 foster children. It's a great way to not only change a life, but to have your very own life impacted, to know that you're a part of a greater cause. Because of the pandemic, Bethany Christian Services representatives say fewer people like Pippins is stepping up to help, many citing financial and housing challenges. And we have remarkable people who are choosing to say, I have to, things to give and I have time to give and I have love to give and are stepping up to the place. Right now, the child placement needs have stayed steady, but that may change in the future. At the moment, with kids being isolated at home, signs of abuse or neglect may go unnoticed. But once the pandemic lifts, children will be back in front of teachers, doctors, and others, and that will reveal a higher number of kids that will need to be placed. Whether it's one child or whether it's 100 children, that we have homes for these children. While Pippins is doing her part, she's urging people with the flexibility to step up and spread more love and compassion. I think with anything, the unknowns are always a little terrifying, I would say, but take the step. And Bethany says during the opioid crisis, they were caught unaware and finding foster parents for children was a challenge. They don't want to get to that point again. They are encouraging anyone that has the flexibility and the desire to help to start the process to foster. You can find out how to get started on wishtv.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Kasira Winfrey.